What's up YouTube? This is GeForce from Bioside Gaming. So have you been raining down hell on the Terminids and the automatons spreading managed democracy across the galaxy? By now you're at least level 5 or beyond. You've acquired your first key stratagems. Here are more tips for intermediate players. First, more control changes. I realize I should have put this in my last video, but here it is now for your benefit. First go to Options, click on Mouse and Keyboard, click Sprint, and change to Press Shift, your pinky will thank you. Next click Combat, change Reload to your front thumb but mouse button, change Quick Grenade to Middle Mouse button, change Quick Stim to Press Q, change Primary Weapon to Mouse Wheel Up, Change secondary weapon to mouse wheel down. Change support weapon to your rear mouse thumb button. This will help you switch weapons while on the run and throw grenades at the hordes chasing you. Next, armor. The latest patch fixed armor ratings so they now work. Surprisingly, you've been using the base armor which has a rating of 150 with a speed and stamina regeneration of medium armor. If you find the need for more speed, and stamina regeneration. Look to pick up the SC-34 Infiltrator armor on page one of the War Bond. The passive effect reduces the range at which enemies can detect the wearer by 30% and markers placed on the map will generate radar scans every two seconds. This is good if you're trying to avoid aggro patrols, trying to complete the objectives as opposed to fighting off ridiculous multiple waves of breached or drop ships. If you want protection of medium armor and a 50% chance not to die from lethal damage or bleeding out, the DP-40 Hero of the Federation armor is a good one for that use. Ideally, you'll be looking to upgrade your armor depending on your playstyle. If you favor movement and agility, go with light armor. The following categories should be considered. Med kit, additional stims, up to six, and increased duration of two seconds, Good if you keep getting gang banged. Servo Assisted allows increased throwing range by 30% and 50% better limb health. Useful for throwing stratagems from a distance like eagle strikes or orbital precision strikes and avoiding detection. Engineering Kit reduces recoil when crouching or prone by 30% and initial inventory and holding capacity of grenades by two. This allows you to carry six grenades Good if you run out of grenades frequently or by taking out nests or by trying to get hordes off of you as you kite them around the map. Finally, extra padding provides higher armor rating. The one in the superstore is light armor with medium armor protection, which is useful if you take out a lot of automaton hits. Weapons. The SG-8 Punisher got a huge damage buff. The weapon's on page one of the war bond and will provide you extra punch if your AR-23 Liberator is not stopping the medium enemies. Remember, this is a pump shotgun and reloads rounds one at a time, so not the greatest for spraying and praying. The P-19 Redeemer on page two of the war bond is a great secondary that pairs well with the Punisher. Its fire rate is 1100 and will quickly take out lower level enemies chasing you. If you've been spreading Liberty on thick, you may want to look at the impact grenade on page five of the war bond. This is my go-to grenade as it will explode on impact and take out smaller enemies and stun larger ones. Secondary stratagems. The expendable anti-tank is now a good option for chargers, bile titans, and hulks, and tanks. It drops two expendable launchers, so you and a squad mate could hit the same target and take it out quickly. The flamethrower went from worst to one of the best in doing crowd control. But beware, it will catch you and your teammates on fire. I have died many times to this one more than any other weapon. In my previous beginner's guide, I pointed out the recoilless rifle and auto cannon, especially when team loading, to be extremely effective against larger targets. The auto cannon is a true gem as it has the power to take out most enemies and close bug holes and destroy fabricator facilities at a distance. Once you reach level 10, you want to get the Guard Dog Rover, as it will take out small and medium enemies so you can focus on larger ones. However, it can kill your teammates and injure yourself. It doesn't run out of ammo, 
but it does have a cooldown occasionally. This makes a powerful combination with a recoilless or auto cannon. If you're playing with a teammate, have them call down the guard dog rover and you wear it while they take the ammo pack for the auto cannon or the recoilless. That way the rover will take out the smaller enemies so you can focus on taking out the larger ones while you do the quick load procedure. The orbital laser at level 15 is a must have for taking out large targets and clearing an area. Be aware that you only get three uses. The arc thrower may be the main weapon for taking out packs of enemy. Just be careful as it will take out friendlies as well. I killed my teammate five times in one match the first time I used it. If you see your teammate's marker on the screen, don't fire. The auto cannon sentry helps take out medium targets but has limited ammo. The laser cannon can be effective against automatons but limits your mobility so it is a bit of a double-edged sword. Your goal is to reach level 20 and obtain the shield generator pack which is still good with an 11 and a half second regeneration. The railgun which is still good but requires more skill and finesse to take out the larger targets and you'll have to use it on unsafe mode. And the orbital rail cannon. This will one hit chargers and and has multiple uses. Ship module upgrades. The first one you want is donation access license, which gives you support weapons, the maximum number of magazines. The second upgrade should be streamlined request process, which decreases support weapon cooldown by 10%. This can be helpful if you are in a reinforced loop and you are too far or it is too dangerous to collect your support weapon. Also remember to share with your teammates if they don't have a support weapon and yours is ready to deliver, to add more firepower to your team. Under hangar upgrades, you will want to use liquid ventilated cockpit, which will reduce your Eagle stratagem cooldown by time by 50%. Pit crew hazard pay reduces Eagle rearm time by 20%. If you have both of these upgrades, you'll be able to use your Eagle airstrike and cluster bombs more frequently, which is helpful for thinning the hordes. If you use sentries, the synthetic supplementation will reduce the cooldown time by 10%, and the shock absorption gel increases ammo for your sentry by 50%. Sentries are a good way to cover your retreat or bait hordes into attacking it while you circle around to take care of the objective. Switch Fighting the enemies. Yes. For terminates, you want a okay. distance between you and them, maneuvering to maintain the distance and changing directions quickly before the charger runs over you. Also, if you get a large rock between you and the charger, it will hit that rock and be stunned, allowing you to break away or your teammates to kill it from the rear. For automatons, cover and concealment are your best friends. You will get shot from multiple angles, so you will want to make sure that you have cover to allow you to survive. Even if you have the shield pack, it will only take about 4 hits before it needs to regenerate, which will leave you vulnerable for 11 and a half seconds. Completing the objectives. You want to make sure you get the primary objectives complete so you can extract. The secondary objectives can be handled if you have more time and can be very useful like radar which will reveal all the points of interest and the CF artillery which can be used to take out targets and enemies or cover your extraction as you will likely get overrun at the extract point. Make sure you have some area clearing stratagems at extract. You will encounter a lot of enemies especially at level 5 and up so be prepared to use the Eagle Airstrike or Orbital Laser to take out enemies closing down on your position. Finally, the new Exo Armored or Mech suit can be used by all players right now. You can purchase it at level 25 for 20,000 requisitions. This is a walking sentry with a Scatling gun and rockets, but it cannot take any rockets from automatons, so use it in coordination with your team to protect its flanks while the mech destroys the larger targets. I hope these tips helped you spread managed democracy and liberty to the galaxy. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, comment below on any future videos you'd like to see, or if you have any additional tips for newer cadets. This is GeForce from Bioside Gaming, and I will see you in the next video. For democracy!